Hi, Zena. Hi. Thank you for coming in today. Dr. Bob recommended that we see each other. I'm a behavioral therapist, and um, he said you were having some anxiety or experiencing some, some anxiety lately. Can you tell me a bit about what that is, how that is for you? Yeah, well, Dr. Bob says it's anxiety. I don't, I, I don't know anything about it, but yeah, like, I don't go to the store because, like, I'm afraid, you know, what might happen to me on the way to the store and then what might happen at the store. And then, like, if I ever do get into the store, then there's so many options and I feel overwhelmed choosing one option over another. And then I'm like, oh, my God, well, what's healthy, what's not healthy? And then there's people everywhere and some homeless people and some not homeless people and then somebody got attacked there recently and just, like, way too many things to think about. Those are a lot of thoughts. <clears throat> um, so what I'm hearing is you're having some anxious feelings around being unsafe when you go to the store and some uncertainty about what might happen on your way there and while you're there. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about how often these um, anxious type thoughts are occurring uh, out of the last week how many days in the week have you felt anxious um probably like every day i have thoughts but i didn't know it was like a you know problem like a medical problem but i do think it is but i have these thoughts all the time you know like right now like i don't I don't know you, I don't know why you're here, what do you want from me, but then I like assume that you're just getting paid so you're here to talk to me because otherwise why would you be talking to me? I understand how that could feel a little uncomfortable for you to come and, and talk to me without having met me before. Um, what I do as a help to Dr. Bob and a help to you is um, sometimes in health we can see a doctor and he can prescribe some medicine and or he can, um, if your problem is diabetes, then you might have to have some dietary changes. If you're experiencing um, some mental health type things or disruptions in the ways that you're thinking that is inhibiting um, or, you know, causing you not to be able to do the things that you want to do, then maybe I could try to help you think through that. Does that sound like something that you'd be interested in? Sure. Okay. I don't know if I can do it, but like I'll do whatever you think I should do, you know. Okay, well, if it's, um, what we'll do is we'll talk about um, things that you can set your own goals, you can set your own, everything will be uh, set by you and, and what you want to do. And so if you feel like you don't really like this or it's not helping you, then it's up to you to, you know, decide to talk to me and go through it or not. Okay. How does that sound? I think that sounds good. Like, I think you know better than I do because, you know, I haven't really thought about any of this before. Okay. So, you're going to make a conscious decision to put a little bit of trust in me. And in turn, um, I can make you a promise that I don't intend to do any harm. And then I'll try my best from what I know and what I've learned uh, from other people that have experiences similar to what you've had. Um, and maybe I'll share some of that with you. So there's other people who feel like me? There's lots of people that have feelings of anxiety. Um, it's a very normal thing that people experience. It's a thing that I experience. Um, Really? You feel like you're afraid to go to the store? Well, the difference in having anxious feelings um, 
is that I may have those feelings or have those thoughts and then look at them and decide that I can have those thoughts and still do what I need to do for myself and things like going to the store would be one of them. So yes, I may have the thoughts, but then I can, I know that I can make a decision to go ahead and do the things that I need to do anyway. Okay. Okay. So if it's okay with you, I'd like to ask you some questions. Um, around those feelings of that you're having about um, you mentioned going to the store um, can you tell me a little bit about that well I guess like I'll just sit and think about it or like I try not to think about it you know like I'll wake up in the morning and I'm at home and I'm like oh I probably need to go eat breakfast and get coffee or else my head's gonna start hurting but then like I'll just put it off, you know, and I think, oh, it's so nice to be at home, I don't want to go anywhere, and the longer that I, like, postpone going to the store, the hungrier I get, and also the more, like, apprehensive I am to leave the house, because you just never know what's going to happen once you leave the house, you know, there's people out there, and cars, and animals, and all sorts of stuff, like, I don't know, it just makes me anxious, and then I end up not going anywhere and then I'm not eating for days and then like I have to call a friend and say hey would you bring me food because I'm hungry but I really don't want to leave the house okay so what I'm hearing is that you're experiencing um, a lot of maybe I won't say negative thoughts but maybe um, worrying thoughts about what might happen if you leave yeah. Even though you know that it would be beneficial for you to leave and get yourself some food. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. And so, when you're, you talked about waking up in the morning and having the, the feeling that you would like to go out and get yourself some coffee. Um, and so, if you could think back to that time, like, let's pretend, what time do you wake up in the morning? Um, usually like 6 or 6.30 because my cat's waking me up. Okay, so at 6 or 6.30 in the morning, um, let's imagine that you're at your house and you would like to go out. You, you notice that you would like some coffee. So can you describe for me the, the thought that makes you decide whether or not to go or stay? Um, I think usually I just talk myself into it. It's fine if I fast because I'm not really that hungry anyways. That'd be nicer to just stay home. Okay. And so the thought is I guess it's just like, oh, I don't need anything out there, you know? Even though you want to get your coffee? Well, like, I know I, don't, I know I need to get my coffee because then I'll have a headache if I don't have my coffee, mm -hmm. but then I'm like, well, maybe I'm just, you know, buying into a bunch of stuff that tells me that caffeine withdrawal makes their head hurt. Maybe it's just a joke and I'll just prove them all wrong. Okay. So those thoughts, all of those thoughts, your thoughts about maybe I don't need it, maybe I should just sit here because it's more comfortable, or any of those thoughts that make you not do what you really want to do would be to go out and get yourself some coffee. So <clears throat> in behavioral therapy terms, those things are called um, the behavior that you're wanting to do would to be to, to leave and go get yourself food or coffee. And then the thoughts that you're having that aren't allowing you to go do that, those would be antecedent thoughts or things that thoughts that happen before 
um, the behavior and your behavior would be sitting there not going out so if we I you can identify the thoughts this is another thing this is act I don't think it's CBT I'm sorry for going out of the thing but it's another one that like in I think with CBT they want you to change what you think about it and I don't believe in that I believe you can still have those thoughts but you do it anyway mm-hmm. well it's the reverse that would be dbt so you're reversing the order you modify your behavior to change your thoughts cbt is just the reverse order so it's changing the thought to change the behavior so i have to convince you or you have to convince yourself that those things aren't true. Or maybe you can just suggest that I, when I have those thoughts, that I just change them to just go get coffee. Yeah. So, be- so then I would ask you questions around, are there times in your life that something has happened? Probably, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there was one time where I was going, <coughs> oh, sorry, to, uh, But I don't want to do all that. I don't you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think that's what this is supposed to be. They make it so, like, whenever this sh- stuff is, it's so simple. It's like, boo, boo, boo. this is what you're going to do. Okay, so what do you, so what do you want to do about that? Well, I want to go anyway. Okay, so you're going to tell me you're, you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Okay. Draw me a picture. Okay, so... <clears throat> so let's don't go to, to all that because this is supposed to be brief. You just came in to see me really <coughs> quickly. And so what I will ask you is this. If you're right, we right now I can I we can identify if you think about um, that that behavior with you not going out to the store is preceded by these negative or these um, continuous type thoughts that are making you not go out. Um, And then can you tell me about what happens then if, and then you already have something for that, because it's not that you won't ever eat, you have a a fix for that because you'll just call your friend and your friend will bring you something so then you're, you're fine. I don't really like that friend though. He's really annoying but like I don't really have any other choice besides going out and getting food by myself. I, mean, I guess it would be nice if I just went out and got food for myself because like then I could get what I want. So that would be nice. You would like to go. Yes. So that's your goal, Zena. You would like to go out. You think that would be nice. Can you tell me, describe for me how that would feel if you were able to go out and get yourself food? Um, I guess it would make me feel independent. Oh. And I could see the trees and smell the fresh air. Mm -hmm. It would be nice, I think. Okay, so you could see some benefit into being able to take a walk down to the store. Mm-hmm. And the feelings around it, you've talked about were independence and being able to see the trees and take in some nature or um, notice your environment. So those are positive things. Um, <clears throat> so, if we look at the behavior of sitting there um, and not going to the store, and we think about some negative thoughts that are associated with not going to the store, but then are there some positive thoughts that you can think of that may encourage you to go out? Well, I guess, um, like, if I go out, 
and I can feel happier and see other people and uh, I can get what I want to eat instead of just having to accept whatever <laughs> is offered to me, you know. Okay. Um, so, if you traded the thought of I don't want to go out because I something may happen to me on the way with if I go out maybe I'll see some people or meet some people mm -hmm. yeah I like that like, I think I could do that I probably just need to write it down to remind myself <laughs> That is actually something we do here at the CBT Institute. We write things down. That's actually exactly, you know what? You're already just right for this, Dina. I'm so glad. So yes, that's exact. So what we will do is we will do some worksheets. Oh, you have worksheets? Yes. Do you so like to do homework? When I was in school, I used to love worksheets. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. So, so what we've done is we've identified a a thought. And we've identified a behavior associated with it and some goals that you want to get out and go to the store. You want to go and get your coffee in the morning. So in the morning, <laughs> Zena, would you agree to maybe um, in the next week, how many times during the week are you going to want to go and get coffee? Seven. And how many days this week do you think you'll be able to go out and get coffee? I don't know. It's really hard because I've been having a hard time going outside, so maybe like a two? Twice. Yeah. That would be a big step. How many times last week did you go and get coffee? I didn't. Not at all. So maybe during this next week, can we make an agreement that you'll try during this next week to go out and get coffee with using that technique of maybe thinking of meeting friends and getting what you want to eat or what you, what kind of coffee you want to drink? Yeah, I think that would be good. I go to that one coffee shop where that cute guy works. Okay, so at least two times this week. And with this agreement, Zena, would you um, also agree to come back and check in with me and we'll talk about those times that you went out to get your coffee in the mornings and we could see maybe it may be more than two. Yeah. Um, and then also, I would like for you to, I'm going to give you those worksheets we talked about. Um, and we talked about what, what I called them was antecedents. Those are thoughts that you were having before the behavior. We call it the ABC worksheets. And so you're going to list the things, the negative thoughts that you maybe think before having the anxiety about going out and then we're gonna you're gonna make a list of those you're gonna make a list of the behaviors that happen because you have those thoughts and then a list of the consequences of the behavior um, and so that'll be what your worksheet's about and then you can bring that in next week and we'll talk more about it does that sound okay? Yeah, that sounds like fun. Okay. I really appreciate you coming in today, Zena, and I look forward to meeting with you next week. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah.
I'm great at the 20 minute freaking 